Hi guys, Zach here. In my previous video, Austin and JMTX suggested that I use a flat surface instead of rollers to support the print at the end. So I've listened to you and here it is. So here you can see the, the current design with a roller. So what I did was I just took those same designs and in Fusion 360 I just grabbed the surfaces and extended them, extruded them to make a broader surface. The reason is I've got this aluminium plate that, I, that was lying around and I'm just going to use that as the support surface instead of the rollers as you suggested. The print I just supported with a D-slot nut and one screw like that, one bolt rather, and I just have to level it or get it in there. So I had this piece of aluminium that was lying around, so I'm just going to put it in position like this and use some, I'm just going to use hot glue and stick it down just for testing. Um, in the future, I'll, I'll draw some holes and just screw it into the into the plastic. I'm also using the hot glue to make it a bit level because obviously it's not perfectly flat. The previous print come in handy here because I'm using the edge as a long ruler to make sure that the the bed is level or that the the print catcher is level with a print bed. Time lapse time. You can see the first print with the uh, the print catching plate at the end. You see it works very well. It's nice and flat. But something very interesting happens towards the end. If you keep an eye on the middle of the print, as it cools down, it actually starts bowing again. And here's a close up of that. So you can see, even though the print was printed level, once it cools down, it, it starts bowing out again. So I guess this would mean we would have to do a bit more experiments and tests, maybe different infill or more parameters or something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, more coming soon.